Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I want to give you a peek of what app we are going to be building. As you can see, this is a web app, but you can also make an iOS or Android app. So this is a restaurant management app. Uh, and uh, let me show you a quick uh, functionality. All right, so objective of this app is to deliver a low cost app, which can be deployed in a desktop, web, or any mobile device with or without internet. So app should uh, completely replace the desktop printer or any paperwork it should be a completely paperless solution and at the same time it should also give you a professional you know business appearance like this now this app uh, this app in my opinion is for the small business medium or even for large uh, businesses you know to run their operations smoothly customers can see what exactly they are ordering and also the kitchen staff can see suppose they have a monitor on the kitchen staff they can see exactly what food they have to prepare and uh, you know uh, customers also get the good great food quality and they can also give the uh, review the you know uh, the particular dish if they like it or not and you know so and restaurants order it going to be completely they can like you know um, provide the uh, paper free receipt and they can also save their orders and they can you know see what menu has been you know is the most popular and what people are ordering so that they can plan ahead so that's the functionality we are going to deliver in this app so in this web app as you can see, there are different types of, like, you know, you can set up different type of menus, like starter, main, main course, special, dessert, side dish. And so if this is a, you know, uh, demo. So again, there are a lot of fake data over there. You can change this, obviously. You can change the pictures and you can change the prices and everything out there. But as you can see, the functionality is very, very simple. The user or anybody who wants to order or take uh, the person who's taking the, you know, order, he, they can change it from a starter or like, you know, special dishes. So automatically this menu will change. And all you need to do, click, and you can, you can immediately you will see that it will be added to the card. So let me uncheck that, and you will see this again. You pay attention to the bottom um, navigation menu here. This is like grayed out, but as soon as you check something, so it that it means it's added to your order. What you can do, you can immediately click on this one. You can see the quick recipe. And you can also see the reviews for this particular dish you are selected in. And if this is in your cart, you can always view the cart. So let me go back and order something more. So for example, pizza, and I'm going to go back to that starter, and I'm also going to start, you know, order the cheesy French fries. Please, you know, the icons don't match with the description, but again, this is the dummy data you can be able to change. Now let's quickly go back to the order. So you can see you have three orders uh, in your cart, and the total is $26.97. And as soon as you click on this order now, Next thing you will go, if you go to the, your order card, you will see that your card is empty. And now you go back to that, um, your order. So this is what your kitchen staff is going to see. They will see the four different orders. So that's the, you know, so right now there are four orders uh, into the kitchen and they are all are new orders. So basically, you know, the um, functionality is very simple. The one person takes the order and, you know, put it into the cart and the other person is seeing those things uh, um, into the kitchen. Again, it's a very flexible app. You can also, like, you know, put the reviews for, um, uh, like, you know, for your dishes. It's a very dynamic app, so hopefully you will like it. And uh, we are going to code this thing from scratch. Now, everything is made in Flutter. All of these things are highly customizable. So let's get started.